The Inshore Fisheries and Conservation Authorities have been reviewing their bylaws since their inception about 10 years ago. Here at Sussex IFCA, we started to look at the usual trawling about three years ago. As part of this, we uncovered the story of the Sussex kelp forest that vanished in the late 1980s and early 1990s. A picture of the past was confirmed to us by local fishers or local divers, as well as from detailed surveys and mapping reports. This became the basis of an ecosystem-based approach for improving sustainable fisheries. We used the theory and language of natural capital and talked about essential fish habitats. We worked on the basis that the now extinct kelp forests of Sussex could be restored and once again become the ecological engine driving local sustainable fisheries. Because after all, you can't have fisheries unless you have fish. Additional benefits include carbon storage, biodiversity, water quality, coastal protection and tourism. The proposal itself is to prohibit trawling along the West Sussex coast out to four kilometres and in doing so help restore over 170 kilometres squared of kelp. We have great community support with over 2,000 people supporting the proposed bylaw. We of course had expected resistance from the trawling interest. The proposed bylaw was created by the IFCA in January and it now sits with the marine management organisations and DEFRA for a final sign off by the Secretary of State. In summary, the mechanism to get this sort of progressive work done is already there. Where there is a will to do so, the status quo can be changed. This is about the art of the possible. You can create significant positive change in the sea around us that benefits the environment, the community and the economy for the long term. And you can do that right now.